Welcome back. You know, I heard that you guys, uh, in the comments, I was reading that you guys were ready for some like greenhouse tours, some nursery videos. Congratulations, you guys. You asked and you have received. Nursery tour video. Well, actually, it's just gonna be a speed run plant shopping video. We're gonna be hitting as many nurseries as we can in a little under 24 hours. So, you know, let's go, baby. Oh, by the way, it's Cactus Quest. You know, I'm your host. We got special guest, Julian. If you guys have been watching the channel for a minute, you've already seen Julian. So uh, let's go ahead and get in here. And if you haven't seen Julian, click the link. There's a video right there. Go ahead and watch that first and then come back and finish this one. Let's go. Let's see. So walking up, let's see what we got right off the bat. This is one of, you know, this is one of my favorites. Emery I. I always called it Emorii, but it's, the guy's name was Emery. Oh, a <laughs> little split. Here, because the sun is so brutal, they have the these markings on the pot, and that basically that marking is letting you know that that's the south side of the pot. Because if they accidentally put this down facing the other way, that cactus is gonna get scorched nearly to death the following day. Dude, it, it kind of feels, know. it kind of feels almost like daunting like when there's so when there's this many and there's so many that look good you're like which which one is the best looking one when there's like so much to choose from you know you spotted one you like that's pretty nice pringly eye, maybe? i think it's pringly eye. it's like a shorter the pringly eye i have is a longer spine pringly oh look at there's a bigger one there's yeah, more. i like this one it's just about to pop some flowers right here so you are pretty good with ma'am ids what would you do you know what that is uh, Rodenta, maybe? And then we got like a lot of this, Parksonii? Yeah. Parkins Park like Parksonii? Yeah. Some of the, you know, some of these look like... Petersonii? That's a good one. If there's a large clump in there, we'll have to go check it out. Like Alright, so these are the next pot size up. Was it, is it that? You think that's Parks and I? Yep, that looks like a nice single header. It's nice when to stay like that for a while. They get bigger before they start to die cut? Yep. That looks more like Compressa to me. Oh, so yeah. That's a, it's pretty, it's just a little. It's really compact. <laughs> and then that, that it is, it's just a little, looks a little beat, you know? Look at that spine structure and perfect. Yeah, that that's an Astra right here. Look at this. It's a, it's blending in perfectly with the Ferro cactus. <laughs> but how about this Ooh. guy? That's Peter Sunyai. Pretty sure. That thing's huge, dude. So does that typically grow like a uh, clump or does it stay relatively solitary? You know? Those will eventually clump, but I mean, they're just massive heads, so they don't come around readily. Yeah, it's really cool. I just have to take this one. Oh, it's not a bad one. Look at all the flower buds in this big, giant, beefy Mammillaria candida. Unreal. The more I look at these, the harder it's getting to choose. All right, so, so I was like, oh my goodness, no way, dude. Look at this, they've got for sale. I, I haven't seen it for sale here. This is Brachychiton rupestris. So I'm trying to follow the stems and they don't, they don't go into a pot. They, they come under here. Look at that. <laughs> so there used to be a Brachychiton here. They top, they chopped the top and it said, I don't give a fuck. And it just kept growing. And now it's growing all the way up through the bottom of the benches out of the top. Life finds a way. You can't hold a good succulent down. You just can't. That thing that I just showed you growing under the, the table, through and up over, that's what this is right here. This is the Queensland bottle tree, Brachychiton rupestris. And that's actually still a skinny one. They'll get way fatter than that, but you can see why they call them the bottle tree because it literally has like a, like a Coke bottle kind of shape to it. Look at that. They got more bottle trees. There's a big old fat one here. You got one two, three, four, five. Pretty crazy. What is that? Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Holy shit, look at that. Wow, you guys, I, I can't get close to it, so this may not seem that impressive, but that's Fakiria fasciculata. I mean, that is just crazy from Hidalgo. 
Then you got Fokiria Columnaris. The Boojum from Baja. And there's Julian over there. What's he doing? What are you doing over there, baby? Look at that. It's so crazy. Is it? It's. It is definitely. Isn't it a crest? I mean, it's shaped like. Yeah. It is, right? So this is a uh, paprikantha or what? Dude, look how big the the, this is a, this the clados is a are huge, big. dude. That's like a that's like the size of like a, I don't know. I don't think I've ever held a hand grenade, but that looks like what I would think a hand grenade would be like. So I have not been into. It's been it's probably been a couple of years actually since I've been into the greenhouse. The last few times that I came here, I didn't. I just came and shopped and then left for the sake of time. But. Uh, we go ahead and take a look. You know, it's funny is that it's kind of funny coming here with you actually, because the first time I ever saw this greenhouse was pictures you posted on your Instagram. Yes. And here we are together. Oh, dude. I know. Look at, look at the ripples and just the. It looks so. First plant. It looks so angry, but yet so happy at the same time. And is that Pussy Jerry? Um, weird. I don't think Formation. so. I don't think so. Because they do have some cruces, they're just down. Let's see. Probably more. No? Look, look, look at that, dude. Oh, good God. Beautiful Lenta. Lenta. I was growing Viesca in Coila. Look at this. Oh, sorry. Sorry, dude. Side first. Oh. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know when you see this, I don't know what it does to you, but what it does to me is it kind of, I don't even know if it's, if it's sexual that I feel it's some sort of like extreme awe mixed with pleasure. It's hard to describe really, but that is good. God, dude. Oh, hold on. let's just take one more special moment. Look at that thing. It's got a lot of pairs. Look at how tight and like just compact it is. Look, you notice, I'm not even noticing, there's a crest here. I can't even barely see it, because just, you don't even need that to be crested. In fact, I think I'd prefer to not be crested. Albicoma? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Crusidra. Right, let's get to it. I don't even know. Check it for seed, check it for seed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's Crusidra. It's, it's got a great color and lots of wool around it. It's perfect. I think it's one plant, it's probably an old plant. Oh, there's another one right there. Look. Yep. See this flowers? No fruits? No fruits. And then is this Talak? Mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know, it's funny. So I ha wasn't, when I saw these in Oaxaca, I, was, I wasn't even sure if it was actually Talakia or not. Because you see how it looks here? They're like white, white in so habitat. Really, yeah. yeah, cause his spines are just so dense. And same actually with like this, the, 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 the you can barely, like you're not gonna see all that green, like fleshy stem, not visible. Uh, there's so many good plants in here. Like I, I, I already, you know, we oogled over that first Lenta, right? Lenta is one of my favorite mammalarias, but just take a look, you guys. <laughs> the first one was unbelievable. Look at that one. Look at that one. This is the family size Lenta. Or or no, you want something a little smaller? How about that one? Is that is that your preferable Lenta sh size and shape? I mean, dude, I literally, I feel like, hey, can I? It's only smaller because of the pot. Will you sell me one of those? Will they sell me one? How about these? <laughs> nice fully body, perfect symmetry. Wait. Five little uh, round heads. And w that what name, Malaria? All right, so this one would be Canalensis. That would be my guess. Is this not the one you just got? That is not the one I got. Marxiana would be the other one I just got, but this is cool. There's also a red spine version that's really pretty. I mean, look at the coloring. God, perfect. It, you know, it's the terracotta with that plant looks really good. In fact, just like the whole greenhouse in terracotta looks pretty good. So I posted something the other day. I posted like that Trico series cutting and I put like a comment. I put Girth Brooks because it's so thick. And I just thought it was because like Garth Brooks, like my achy breaky heart. And then somebody, somebody sent me a message. They're like, you are way too straight. 
to know about Girth Brooks. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> what? Uh, is that, that's actually something? So apparently, like for the people, I guess, for those of you that know who that is, it's kind of hysterical because I didn't know, but apparently Girth Brooks is like a very well-known gay porn star, dude. And I was like, yeah, no, I, it literally is just... Uh, yeah, you didn't know that. <laughs> it's uh, Convergent Evolution that I knew that, not because I'm a fan or anything. Yeah. Look at this, man. I, uh, so this right here, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe 200, 300 years ago, you might find something like that in Oaxaca, but all the Huichlipotles that we found in the wild were like, I mean, I didn't, I don't think I found one that was as big as just this stem. So, and dude, that is a, this is a intensely variable plant. It's so variable that people will argue that the plant you have isn't wheat chlipotle and that this one is. And like, yeah, there you go. Another wheat. Look, and so you can see actually right there, a lot of people say, oh, well, wheat chlipotle has to have the little central black spines, right? Well, there's one coming out. So is one enough? But then when you get into habitat, you'll see one growing next to another one where one doesn't have any central spines. The other one will have blonde to brown central spines. Some will have black. You know, so what you see in the trade oftentimes that's a grower's selection. That's what that is. So you end up getting selected plants. They're not cultivars. It's just like the prettiest one that they had. And then people kind of get the idea, well, that's what that is. But not necessarily. They're, they, they can be all over the place. I'm, I apologize. I'm very sorry, you guys. If you would never let me come back, I'll understand. As we're looking at it, look at that. You got a whole bunch of barrels, barrels in the bush. In the bush. <laughs> Where are we? Arid Lands. What, super famous for their Euphorbia collection. That's what I know. Um, they've been here a while. They do mailing orders, I think, right? If I'm not mistaken. I believe so. I was there a few years ago and there's a lot to see, so it should be fun. I say we start in this greenhouse right here. Hello. Hey, What's happening, man? How you doing? Trying to fix some pipes. <laughs> Dude, let me <laughs> know when you like get them fun. working, bro. I want to hit. <laughs> I'm on a hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, like, we got, we got, like, a limited amount of time. So, we can do a speed run. We got pack of podiums, right? Ooh, okay. I know. I already know I'm going to grab a few things I just saw for sure. So, th they actually have, this is really not, like, my world per se. Like, I don't know all this stuff, like, that well. A lot of the different trees, the African plants. But if you like xeric trees and things like that, they've got the selection. They've got a great selection here. So I highly recommend. And if you want to see like a more detailed video, I already did one. So go click the link up in the corner. Nice. From Socotra. Oh, I want to go to Socotra. You know, it's funny. Actually, I'm looking for. What are you looking for? There's one thing I got here before that I, I like. I've kind of sold most of them and I wish I would have kept more. I only have like two and I want more. Euphorbia Robeckii. I've never seen it anywhere since I got them here and I've never, like I've never seen it since. And it, it's a really cool kind of like flat uh, columnar Euphorbia that mm -hmm. has a pattern that I swear it looks like Digitech camo. Like, I, like literally like exactly like Digitech camo. Okay, now so we're talking. Real quick? Yeah. So yeah. this, this is Euphorbia Robeckii, but look what I'm like what I'm talking about. Like you see the the pattern? Yeah. It literally looks like a Digitech camo. Like yeah. it's crazy. It's like square, yeah. like square little square shapes. There is so much. I mean, you could spend hours looking at all these. You see me? Caducifolia, and this is from. I want to say India. It's a Euphorbia that's from India. That's awesome. I've seen this. In your greenhouse, bro. You have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. You still have that one? I still have it. It has branches, and uh, I almost like it when it's single stem even more because it's it just looks really weird. Never did see grown Mexicanos, but now they do. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, if you have, like, dude, so when we were in Chiapas and we found Mexicana, but the only thing we ever found 
was the uh, foliage, the vines. We never found a codex. Ever. How does that happen? Is it, is it just buried in the ground? Or? Yeah. yeah you, you didn't even know this, this section existed, huh? Nope. Dude, you get it, you come around the corner, and I'm like, why does it smell like a dead animal shat all Holy over the shit. place? <laughs> this is it? It's it's these guys oh right my here, man. Gosh. Some of the best smelling flowers in the business, baby. What? Hey, what is, is this? Rolianus? No. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow, Grunwaldia. really? Grunwaldia, that sounds right. Yeah, Grunwaldia. This one's pretty, too. Super spirals. Yeah, look at that, dude. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oof. Corn cobs? Yep. Stella Spina, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow. Look at the corking at the base. <laughs> oh, damn. Oof. Suppressor. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. But you know, anytime that I'm in a place with this many plants in at this kind of density, like <laughs> I can, every time you come in here, like you see something different. And I mean, even, I bet what I would imagine, like even with you working here, dude, like you kind of go like, oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. You know, yeah. look at this thing, dude. Look, dude, look, come look at this. What is it? Euphorbia. Oh, wow. Euphorbia as, so that's even crazier. That's the species Nova. Okay. Which means it's undescribed. Or unidentified. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Does it lose its, its branches in like the dormant season or like? So we're coming out of it right now. Um, typically they will die back, but not not like foliage. Yeah. Because yeah. there's Absolutely. euphorbia, is it decidua? Decidua? Yeah. Okay. That loses its, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, this is almost like, like it's a- almost it, like it, but. Somewhere between a medusoid and like a decidua. <laughs> is this yours? Okay, wait. Oh, gonna, that is Okay, mine. yeah, I'll, I'll leave that. Well, let's go. So here we go. These are some really old this specimens. Mm -hmm. So why are they all kind so, of protected here? So if you look here, the little flowers. Mm -hmm. So that's to stop the, the seeds from falling into the pot. So we're trying to collect them in these bags. Gotcha. Because they have such fine little seeds. I'll say they actually have small seeds. Mm -hmm. That's Let's not typical for them. euphorbia. Huh? Yeah, there there look go. at this. It looks like it looks like it's just out of the hospital, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's those cool. ones. And then there's another species that's really similar to these guys. Philipsoides or Philips? Yes, yeah, Philipsoides. Yes, yeah, so yeah. these are Philipsoides. And then the Philipsoides are down this way. Excuse my pronunciation. Yeah, that's the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. So here's the oides right here. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is really pretty. Mm -hmm. We've gotten And them. it's in bloom too. Mm -hmm. And are those Madagascar? So these are another one from Somalia. Somalia. Yeah. Gotcha. We've had seedlings of both of them. Um, the question is whether or not we have them any left right now. Yeah. These a pack rat came through and ate them all the way down, just like this one. Oh. And the other ones did not recover. So that's a constant battle. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Shit is the word. Yeah. yeah. So this one's a Caribbean cactus from Cuba. And then this one back here, one of the biggest cacti on Cuba, it turns into a giant tree. Is that Weber, Bauer, or Cirrus? So this one's Dendrocerus, Nodulifers. Yeah, these big ones right yeah. here, Dendrocerus. That, so this is this is a cactus. That is a cactus. So there's the same thing here. Yep. Dude, it's so crazy. I, I mean, yeah, you can see it's obviously got like uh, aerials and spines, but mm -hmm. man, it kind of looks like a euphorbia. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at this spine structure, man. That's not virosa. I'm not too sure about that one either. We have some over here I could show you, but I, I love how <laughs> the text literally, literally says, says no, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I'm taken aback. I've always thought this was what it looked like. I mean, it's got the so it's very you know, the similar. Spine spreads really wide, mm -hmm. um, and it's got the same, you know, width. I don't know. Okay, it very well could be. Uh, that was just a name that got slapped onto the label because it didn't match up with the virosa that we had. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where that one is at in this jungle of euphorbias. It's probably on this table somewhere. And here are those Edwardii. So we top this one. And that's what we got off of it to root up. We we're hoping that it would branch out, but it's taking its time with it. You haven't got them to flower before you either.
All right, so we have uh, we've been we've been busy. We gotta hit the Circle K because we both gotta take a piss and we're both thirsty as hell. And uh, we literally we realized that it's like basically four o'clock and we haven't actually drank any water yet, which not ideal when you're out in the desert. I mean, winter time in the desert, so you sweat much less, so it's not a life threatening, uh, you know, oversight like it would be in the summer. And this is sort of a rambling, uh, aimless. I don't know if it's a monologue or a diatribe. This probably isn't gonna make it in the video, but that's okay, all right? Look at that. If you guys are watching from somewhere else, you know, like that, not from the American Southwest, or, uh, you know, like if you're, if you're watching this from a country that doesn't have cacti growing native, first of all, thanks for being here. Hi, how you doing? And then second of all, just look at this. Could you imagine living in a neighborhood and that's your backyard? You see all the, look at all the saguaros on that? Just like, look at this. What are we talking about? Let's see how many different species of cacti. You're not gonna see it, but we got saguaros, you got opuntias, there's pharaoh cactus, wilzenii, you got cylindropuntia, nightmarii, that's, they're all that to me. Uh, there are mammillaria grammii, I, and that's that's uh, that's as far as I can go in terms of the cacti. I, I don't know what else is in this particular area. Oh my goodness! Wow. Yeah, it's a real beauty. I mean, this is like starting almost... with a small cutting when I put it, it. It looks so far away from the rest of the plant. I mean, how long has this been here? This has been in here probably about four or five years. And um, it was, when I put it in there, it was in a three inch pot. So just to give you a little perspective. Wow. It gets especially pretty in the winter because you get those pink hues right there. Yeah. Really cool. Well, it's got, it's almost like the, the contrast of like the, the light green to the kind of like glaucous yeah. blue. This is a really It loves the rain. Plant. And there's, see, there's almost three different forms. So you get that really like, I know. Call it elite, which is really tight spines. Then you get that minimum form. And then you get almost like this fat form, which is kind of almost getting ready to revert back. And you can see it here. It's reverting back a little bit, but not much. It's really, it's a great, great press because oftentimes you'll get reverts. Well, from my understanding and what I've done on some of mine is like, if you just, if, if you just cut that there and then you'll and then you'll have something to root and if it, if it does what it does it's fine but you'll kind of like stop it from reverting yeah. at least there it's and nice. this would be actually the first time i have to do this since i put it in the ground which is kind of unheard of yeah, I'm, not, I'm not usually like a, honestly, I'm not used to, is that part of it too yeah. down there yeah oh wow so yeah it is matter like of a, fact that's probably where it kind of started it's almost the base of the plant that, so it is like, it's that's wild, because you know, you, it is like the, that's what they call the elite, right? Yeah, elite, yep. I have a really interesting uh, crested myrtilla that's almost like, it's very unusual, it's almost like monstrous and crested. Uh -huh. And I, I, I'm waiting to like prop it, basically. I could probably, and I don't want to, but I could probably chop this up well, yeah, you and could, like, get right like here, 50 look, different cool plants, but. You could cut here, <clears throat> here, 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 like all along the bottom, yeah. you know? Like all the little, like, look, there's, there's, oh, look, this, there, there's a branch right back oh there. Oh my gosh, yes. And it's, it's actually a straight stem, yeah. so you could literally slice that. This would This one right great. here. I know. Like you just get the glove, Yeah. grab it, boom, slice it, that's a, that would be a beautiful Dude, piece too. If you want it, I'll cut it for you. Man. <laughs> Don't tease me with a good time. Holy hell, damn, dude. <clears throat> Hercules good. I mean, I get tons of weeds, but this is the time of year, you know, I just get need to get to Everyone it. does. Yeah. yeah. Everyone does, really. Jeez, dude, this thing is getting big. Yeah, so I'm like six foot, exactly. So it just kind of gives you an idea of like, okay. At least double? Is more it than double. more than double? Okay. It's more than double. I mean, yeah. I think that, well, you, you guys tell me, but I, that definitely looks like a little more than twice as tall as him. Yeah, I would say like 14, 15 feet. And that has been in the ground ever since it was this tall. Right there. And first winter, it didn't really like the frost and then it just went back and then phew, 
from there it's like chugging along. And this is still as big as this thing is. If you're familiar with this plant, then you know. But this is actually still essentially a small. <laughs> oh yeah. The potential that are you know uh, trapped within the genetics of these uh, these these stems here. This thing can get like absolutely. It's it's one of the biggest uh, cacti that you can find in in Oaxaca. They form these giant candelabras. Just amazing. You know what's funny? Actually, so this is the dwarf one, right? Yeah. You gave me a cutting of this. Yeah, I remember. And that. it's fuck, it's cranking, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> Greek's beast form. The anti-gravity man. Yep. It's loving it. When it gets his ring of the flower in the spring, it looks especially subjective. <laughs> Those guys wearing wearing a cap, dude. San Diego baseball helmet. <laughs> you kind of have a little, look, look, some monstrous action happening here. Yeah. Look, yeah, you actually have monstrous going there too. Yeah. Flowering monsters. You know, you may want to like that. Might even actually be worth like lopping yeah. and lopping and isolating and trying to like really kind of propagate yeah. that. Yep. It's interesting, dude. I don't know what is it something in your in your soil. This is also going monstrous. Yeah. With age. Whew. I know. They're getting big. They just need a little maintenance. But oh, I want to show you the trichocerus that I got from Dean. Oh. Yeah, that one's damn. Fun. I mean. It's just getting started. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh man. The gnosis. From gnosis for the win, man. Trichocerus de los blues. Dias de, de Dias blues. Dias de los blues. That is fucking sick. It is beefy too. And actually the tree you're under is also his. Palo Verde? Yep. You can actually have some really nice trikes. Yeah. Most of them are probably from Dean. This one is from Dean. I think it's Cuscoensis. This is a three header, so actually it's one plant. Nice. Yeah, it burnt and then, uh, you know, started offsets. I just kind of threw it in there. I'm like, all right, let's just get it. Oh, yeah. You know, get my little. Um, all these, you oh, know, the same thing. Those. Yeah. Lots of mams. That's nice. Yeah, Shimani, I have an even bigger one here. And see, you can see the spine variation. This one is like a lot thicker. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a slight different variation, but same plant. I like that. I like Shimani a lot. The Globos. Or either one. The color of the stem contrasted with the spine. It's a really, really yeah. pretty one. Awesome. Those are I should have bought one of those. The one they got kind of wish I did too. Nice. <laughs> yeah, lots of Schumannia is in there actually, you know? Well, lots. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those are babies. Mostly Valdesianas. Uh, there's some Turbini Carpus uh, Pseudopectinatus. And then a bunch more of the. Yeah, there you Schumannia go, Schumannia. You know what this is? This is it, Sulfureus, Cynocactus. They're, they're starting barely to get the final oh, mature yeah. spine. Wow, they almost look like little Escobarias right now. Yeah, you never know. More and so that will grow into that there. This is Pedio cactus Noltonii from ah. New Mexico. I think, I hate, to, I hate to tell you, dude. Yep. I see it too. Let yeah, me get little, my little, little a little little demon in there. You no, know, let me let me murder it right now before it's too late. Dude, I can't even get it. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this, but it's dead. <laughs> it's good. Oh, dude, <clears throat> that's a really pretty one too. Super clean. Yeah, it's a cutting from um, Tony. Nice. Yeah. It's a fat head. Yeah, and it didn't start like that. It was it was skinnier than this, but. Interesting. It's, yeah. I was thinking it was going to go higher, but it's no, it's plumping up. Oof. Is that uh, Glacia or Albicoma? Albicoma, yeah. That's a nice one. It's big. What is this? So I am not sure, actually. I got it without an ID, and all I know is it's got red flowers. So. But do you think, what do you know, what do you think it is? Like, uh, um, is it ma'am? Uh, no, it's more of the, um, it's, a, it's a South American plant. And this is the seed farm? Yeah, we got a 
If you're into Copiapoas, this is it. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. Are people into Copiapoas? <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, they certainly look nice. These, yeah, these are starting to like plump up. I like to keep them in the pot as long as I can. There's some columna albas there. Yeah, they're looking good. I like this one. It's got really like tight, close spines. Love the form on this one. Yeah. And then these ones, I don't know if they're gonna start losing spines, but they've got a cool look to themselves too. They definitely do. It's just amazing the variation on what all of this. What is this? This is uh, Dura. Really? So those are gorgeous. Man, yep. those are your seedlings? Yes. And then we got some Solaris right here, a pair that actually I got from um, a gore in Arizona, so those aren't mine. And then this is the Cranziana Hazeltoniana mix. Oh yeah, yeah. They and so some look. are grayer, and then some are greener. Very green, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's looking really good in here, yeah. man. This is a really cool hybrid. I don't know what it is, but you know it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a fun hybrid. I like it. This is fun, dude. This one right here is crazy. Yeah. They're both insane. I mean, it would in be- In the long run, this one I think is gonna look cooler, but I do agree. And it, you know what's cool about Subikia is it's got white flowers. Let's see. It looks like a- So flat. Sunny side egg <laughs> when it blooms. It has this really like bright yellow center and then it got white petals. It's really pretty. Oh, hey, wait a minute. What do we got that? here, dude? I wonder. A little, little, little Quest Ceramics with mm -hmm. the areas. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, dude, so everybody can see them. Do you get seed on this? Uh, I do, but I have never harvested them because they all just kind of, its they're so small, they just disappear into the pot. I think you gotta use some sort of Tool, right to get a them. sucker yeah I have not done that I'm hope I'm kind of secretly hoping it's gonna start mm. on its own whatever falls into the pot some of the best flowers in the cactaceae I think right here look at that these are just getting to open this is glandula cactus or glandula cactus however you say it yep. maths and I yeah maths and I Oh no, I'm snagged again, dude. Yeah, I broke I broke my golden around. rule. I'm wearing uh, I'm wearing loose clothing, loose garments in the uh, in the greenhouse. I try to avoid doing that at all costs. Is that uh... so? Desertacola. Um, I've been told Chiloensis mix. It's really hard to tell. It just looks really cool. That's all I know. And <clears throat> so this is elegance. Elegance. This is Hagiana. Okay. Yeah. So the, the difference being that Hagiana has the kind of like little... It has a little red out, glow to it. Yeah, well, the, it's... Central it's, spine. Yep, yep, yep. And then this one is just... Really just flat and uh, grippy. That one hurts to the left, you know, if you were to... It's got a little bit more poke to it. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> Unlike this glorious little... It's oh, a chunky lint though. Probably time for a repot. Now this one's cool. This is U.S. grown from seed from a really cool grower that uh, shall remain nameless because it doesn't really want to, but it's a it's a beauty. So this is I think commonly mis uh, ID'd as a Astrobergia, mm -hmm. but in fact what it actually is right is is was Ornatum Kiko or Capri it's Ornatum Kiko right. You know, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't the one crossing it, but yeah, I think that sounds about right. I mean, it really has the features of the Ornatum and of the Kiko combined, so you're probably right. Yeah, because I used to, like, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it's a, it's an Astrobergia. And it's like, man, it isn't. There is, there is no Luchtenberry, I don't think, in it, but. <clears throat> oh, man. This has gotten so big, dude. Yeah. Chicken feet. Is that like the Xantha Central? Yep, it sure is. That's the biggest one I got. Then a couple of little friends there. From San Luis Potosi? This is from Kevin. 
Really? Yeah. Wow, dude. That's dope. Yeah, probably not who you would have guessed would have, you know. This looks, dude, cool this plants. literally looks just like the fucking um, Pulaki eyes that I was showing you the pictures of at that yeah. site in Oaxaca where they had the those uh, Otero eyes. Mm -hmm. The flower is definitely right. The spines look right. And uh, the morphology, the growth habit looks right. Look at this. There's just root head here, head here. Like these plants look like they've been beaten to pieces. Like that one is completely just loose. But um, let's get a little close up of that flower. So that looks very much like the flower for Talakii. Like, that looks literally looks exactly like them. That's mm -hmm. so dope. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. So pretty. Yeah, that's seed grown. It's not a cutting. So you know, do you know why it's called Crucidra? Because it has a cross. Yeah. You know, shape. This, right the, there. See, yeah. there's you like a little see cross. Them right there, yeah. And this is Talaki behind it. Mm-hmm. No cross. No cross. And those are my babies, Talakis. Yeah. You can hit. You can hit him up. He sells plants. <laughs> Dude, this is so, so. This is a, this is a thilo, right? Yes, it is. Um, Fosilatus. Oh. Uh, it's, it's a cultivar from Japan. That is, what is, is that also? Selling. This is Lodi. I um, got that fairly recently. It's still. It, I really love the form. So that's nice. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. It's looking good in here, bro. Thanks. It's looking very good. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, fuck. this guy is still wooling out. Yeah. It's looking good in here. Oh my gosh, nice. you have more. Yep, actually I got these two. The one that you just saw with this one at the same time. This was from Italy from, uh, I can't remember them, but they're both seed grown. They're pretty plants. Well, this, this one is a clone from um, Bill Minkowski. What else? This is, it's, I like the, the color. Yeah, this it's one's the really color. orange. So like, look, I you know, I had one that died. Um, and I ended up cutting the heads that I could salvage. Oh yeah. They have rooted. So then, um, are these the same clone? Yeah. It's really the same plant. And that's why I think a lot of people, those are all seed grown. Nice. Yeah. Wow, you have a nice little assortment of them, dude. Yeah, cool. and they're just kind of scattered around the greenhouse. I need to combine them. Um, and then I have, I have actually seedlings of them that I grew myself that are right here from this plant. So all these are Crucigera seedlings. Um, How old are they? Uh, they're about maybe a year and a half. Yeah, 2022. I don't have the month, but it that was probably awesome. fall of 2022. So a year and a half. That's dope, dude. Yeah. It's looking fucking, it's looking really good in here, man. Thanks. Yeah, it's a little tight, but I don't know where you're gonna fit all the plants that you just I got. Know, I know. You got some room there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah, they got room over there too on the cinders, dude. Down below. Yeah. Yeah. You can fit them there. You're good. You got space. So well, here's the one that we were looking at. That's the one. This still looks like the one that he said was the one that the other guy said wasn't. <laughs> that mix. Yeah. No, I agree. I. To me, it's, it was sold as Caducifolia, so that's what I think it is, but they look exactly the same, so who knows? Well, I'm not gonna fight it. What a, what a fucking trip. Yeah, that was fun. That was a good trip. I hope you guys, I hope you guys at home watching, or if you're watching, I hope you're not driving in your car watching this, you know, but like, I hope that all you guys watching it had fun coming along on the trip with us, because I know I definitely had a good time doing it. And until the next time, peace. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Love y'all. Adios.
Thank you.